Okay, my name's Andy Hamilton. Uh, my name's Guy Jenkin. We're writers and directors. Uh, and what we're going to show you today is a film. Then rather than sort of listening us to us talk, we thought we'd get you up to um, act a theme from it. Well, I'm a short seller. You okay. sell shorts. You're a short sailor. Not a short sailor. A short seller. Your friends, well, that... do they sell shoes, Can socks, you... hair pieces, t-shirts, What sort of jumpers? millionaire are you? OK, I've got lots of money. If you've read this scene, you've spotted the key part in it. We need someone to play a wasp. The loudest wasp you can. Yeah, an angrier, angrier wasp. <laughs> That's that part, cast. OK. Whenever you'd like to be a producer with us, a 10-second pitch on how you're going to raise money for our film. How are you going to raise money for our film, Jake? I'm going to raise money for your film by putting it in as many cinemas as possible and making it the most funny and hilarious thing for all the family. That's, that's good, Jake. Yeah, but how are we going to have the money to make it? Go to the BBC and see if we can pitch our idea and get someone to fund it. That's very good. We did that. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> It I works. wish we'd had you as our producer, Jake. I suggest we do uh, a marathon dance-a-thon, uh, and then we could sell cakes. That's the traditional way. Jake's very good, but that's what a standard producer does. Isidora's a bit more off the wall. The wasp has landed on that chair. You come in, and you don't know what the hell she is doing, <laughs> OK, because she's, she's attacking it like a mad woman. Sir Donald, Gavin, Gavin, Gavin McLeod. I hear you got a hole in one at the 13th. That's very good. That was very really good. So, Donald, Gavin, yeah. Friends. Gavin, Gavin McLeod, yeah. I hear you got a, a hole in one at the 13th. <laughs> When you have script ideas, do you find that they're based on real life experiences or that you pluck them out of nowhere? Uh, both, uh, I suppose. I mean, you, you try and base your script ideas on, you know, observations about human nature. So sometimes we'll tell each other a story, something that's happened to us or a friend and that will trigger a thought. And then sometimes you conjure it from thin air. I think, I think you, rarely, you rarely take something from real life and use it exactly. Um, how much of the work that you do with uh, younger children is scripted? In the scene that you saw earlier, um, that one is quite improvised. We never give them a script to read. We only tell them what the scene's about just before we start. But what we also do sometimes is we give, just give them a starting point. And the scene where they interrogated their uncle was a bit like that. What tips do you find can really help improve improvising? Well, relaxation is really important. Getting a good atmosphere where people aren't scared of hmm. trying things. Creating a character in your head and then staying in that character when, when you improvise. So things come out that aren't, aren't you. So what tips would you give anyone, like if they wanted to start acting or be a director? The two most important things are enjoying it and persevering. Get together with friends and make little make films, little plays, try out sketches. You know, just do it. Just get involved and, and do it as much as you can. Yeah.